Rebecca, how did you know I was with Teresa earlier tonight? Well, I didn't say that. Uh, what I meant was that, well, if Teresa is asleep, if you wake her up now, it'll be the, you know, the same as if you woke her up in the morning. <laughs> Okay. But I, I would still like to talk to Gwen. Do you know where she is? Because when I called her on her cell phone, she never answered. Well, perhaps she doesn't want to talk to you. Who can blame her after all? No, you can't blame her. Look, I know her, and I know I can make her feel better. But I need to know where she is. All right. What is going on? Where is she? Uh, uh, nothing is going on. It's just been a hellish long night. We're all very tired and upset. No, you all are hiding something. I'm calling Teresa. That's funny. No one's answering. But I know Teresa's home. my mother out of the closet. We can all sit down and talk about this. Talk about this? What, so I can hear more of your lies? Let no. No, Teresa, there will be no more talking, no more lies, no more innocent little Teresa batting her eyes to prove how innocent she is while she lies through her teeth. When I never meant to hurt you. Oh, no? You didn't think stealing the man I've loved all my life would hurt me? The only man I've ever been with? The man who loved me with all of his heart until you came along? When? I didn't think of course you didn't think about it, Teresa. You don't give a damn about me. You only care about yourself and what you want. Tell me, how long were you plotting and planning to get Ethan? How many times did I tell you to be honest with me and I asked you, are you in love with him? And how many times did you lie to me and tell me you weren't after him? And I couldn't help it. What? Come on! What are you going to do now, Teresa? What are you going to plead? Amnesia? Insanity? Stupidity? No, because you are none of those things, Teresa. You are a cool, calculating, conniving little bitch. You set your sights on Ethan, and you were not going to let anything get in your way. You were willing to tell any lie. You were willing to pull any trick to get him, right? Oh, and you, you were such a good friend to me, weren't you? So supportive, always coming around with a new, wonderful idea to make my wedding perfect. All the while knowing you were going to ruin it the whole time. You succeeded, didn't you? You pulled it off. It is. I keep away from her. It didn't happen that way. Gwen. No, no, it didn't happen that way. Then please tell me how it happened. Because I have seen all the pictures that you have plastered all over your wall of Ethan. And that, that wedding portfolio that you claim was for us. No, that was for you. All your fantasy ideas to your dream wedding with Ethan, not mine. Yes, Gwen. I loved Ethan, please. But I didn't plan no, on yeah. being involved in planning your wedding. You know what? You're right there. That was my incredibly stupid idea. And I will admit the dumbest thing I've ever done in my entire life. The second dumbest is ever believing a damn word out of your mouth. Open this door. Let me out. <laughs> this just got all crazy. And when I am sorry, oh. I oh. really am not half as sorry as you're going to be. Because right now, Teresa, I am taking back control and I am going to wipe you out of the picture. Teresa! Teresa, you are right! Teresa, answer me! So I'm the door. Yeah. Just ignore it. <laughs> Don't go away. <laughs> Sam! Is everything all right? It's Sam. He's... He'll stay at the door. He knows everything's okay. I know. And then he's gonna come in to make sure we're okay. You should go, Dad. We'll just find out what he wants, all right? Be right back. You don't go anywhere, right? Come. Hey. 
Is everything okay? What's going on, Luis? It's me, it's Ethan. Ethan! Are you alright? What are you doing in the closet? What were you doing to Teresa? What the hell is going on here? Charity, are you alright? Answer me! What's going on? I ate something weird, and and I'll just sit here and try to relax and not panic, and I'll just snap out of it. I'm gonna snap out of it. Daddy, don't look at the light. I can't tear my eyes away, Timmy. Why are you in such a sweat? Uh, I uh, just woke up and couldn't get back to sleep, so I just did some push-ups, you know. Push-ups? Oh, you must have done a whole lot of them, huh? Yeah, I did. Huh. So, uh, is there any reason you came by? Look, is everything okay? Yeah. I mean, uh, you and Sheridan getting along okay? I've dreamed of this for so long. It's no dream. Mm. I thought I heard someone. Hello, Sam. Sheridan. What brings you by so late? Is anything wrong? No, everything is fine. That's the station house. Uh, you mind if I use your phone? Oh, sure. There's one in the kitchen. Great. I'll be back in a minute. What's he doing? I don't know yet. We'll find out and make him go away. <laughs> I'll do my best. 